Hola from Ecuador. We've arrived after our 26 hour journey. We're now in Quito. It is gorgeous, warm at altitude and we have dropped our bags. They let us check in early. It's like 11 o'clock here, I'm so glad. And now we're gonna go and find some food. There's a dragon. So yeah, so far, so good in Ecuador. Quito is muy bonita. All the beautiful flats. So we've had a lovely lunch in Quito and managed to get our sim sort, which was like job number one. And we've come back to this view, I'm gonna turn the camera. Beautiful balcony, honeymoon. Police and blockades everywhere. Not to like explain what we're staying here to get through. They were really nice. However, not ideal. Just come up to the rooftop of our hotel. Look at that view. This is so beautiful. Little updates, we just did a little Google and um, it's like planned protests for indigenous people's rights, I think. It was like as much as I could get from Spanish. So the protest is pre-planned, which is always a good sign. We're just sort of watching out our window now. Like, of course, we've booked the one hotel right next to where the protests are happening. Um, but there's a lot of like women and children and people with balloons. Realistically, how how angry can you get if you're holding balloons do you know what i mean so fingers crossed hopefully we're just gonna need a bit of extra time to go for our fancy dinner tonight and then we'll see what happens it's all very exciting oh there's people on stilts this surely you can't be angry on stilts it's been a bit of an overwhelming day we've had the army outside the police outside more police outside and obviously at ecuador because it can be quite unstable so it's just very stressful thinking that we were literally about to be in the middle of something. Then? Huh? Then there was out. Yeah, then we tried to nap because we were really jet-lagged and I've got a really bad headache. And some guy was stood outside the hotel with a speaker just singing so badly for like two hours. Anyway, we cancelled our dinner reservation. We've moved it to another day and we're just having to have this. Yeah. We're not proud. We're not proud. It's not big, it's not clever. It's not real mesh. But sometimes you just need what you need so as our update day one of keto bit of a fail just having breakfast this is a little pineapple and no what was it banana and passion fruit juice delish and this is our Breakfast for you. We've just had a successful trip to the bank, um, and we've got some electrolytes because we're struggling with. We walk through the beautiful old town. Yeah, we saw the stunning. presidential palace, it's amazing. Some lovely like cathedrals, churches. We're still really tired from jet lag, so we're trying to get some electrolytes on board. $1.30. Um notice you get quite a lot of stairs here, especially me. I think like I'm very I'm average in the UK height, but um and looks. <laughs> and no, uh, but I think <laughs> I think out here I'm really tall and a lot, I'm getting a lot of stairs. Not in a nasty way, just like people start from my feet and then look up and then the more they're having to like go up, they're getting shocked. I'm only five foot eight. Um, I feel really tall here but it's, and I'm only six foot. It's definitely less touristy than Colombia, Peru, but everyone's very friendly. I think yeah. they really welcome tourists. Yeah. But yeah, I'm gonna... A lot of cars and boats might stop them for us, which they get. Yeah. So. So today's going to be a better day. I think someone just shouted hello at the camera. There you go. This just really made us laugh as we were welcomed. 
I am very personally very glad for that explanation, <laughs> otherwise I'd have been really worried. There you go, Ecuadorian cucaracha. <laughs> Some cafe. We just met the nicest security guard and he was showing us where it was and we completely walked past and he was so worried he came running after us. So we're here. Minka chocolate. This might be the nicest ice cream I have ever had. Literally tastes like a Ferrero Rocher. Hot pork sandwich, my latte with an edible stirrer. So good. I'm really glad we saw that sign in our hotel, otherwise, I'd have been a bit concerned about that. A fave, just having a look at the supermarket, what I've got on offer. Oh, but they're the shoulders. So when we're all away from Ecuador, we still have a little bit of Scotland with the Loch Lomond whiskey and Isle of Skye. Yeah. And for Bernie, thirty dollars. <laughs> Bernie, me and Mike. Thirty dollars. Nine dollars ninety nine for some Loch Lomond whiskey. Check out that view. We've just come here for our walking tour with Guru Walks, our favourite thing to do. And this is the starting point. Pretty strong starting point. We're just visiting the Basilica on our amazing walking tour. And it's made from volcano rock. It's the only basilica blessed by the Pope in Quito. And it's the second tallest in South America? Yeah. The second tallest church in South America, in Latin America. Amazing. No, they're not gargoyles, because gargoyles have to be made up. And we're here with our amazing tour guide, Steph, who is telling us so many facts. Have the old Temple of the Moon from the original people who lived here, not the Incas before that. And then there's the old Temple of the Sun. There's Mikey and our amazing tour guide, but this got knocked down by the Spanish and it's now owned by the same people who own the Basilica over there. So the original native people to Quito. And our tour guide is absolutely amazing. There she is telling Mike some more facts. Thank you, Steffi. We're going to try this. It's a traditional Ecuadorian dish called bonche. And it's like beer, egg white, egg white and, sugar. and sugar. And it looks amazing, all for 75 cents. Wow. Oh my God, it smells like beer. Isn't that so bizarre? This is the moon represents the female energy, right? This is an apocalyptic virgin. It's the region of Quito. It's the one that is in the top of the hill. Basically, she's based on a prophecy that is in the Bible that it says that when will be the end of the world, the mother of Jesus is going to fly to earth. And she will take with her all her followers to heaven so they don't have pain when they die here in the end of the world. That's why she has wings, because she flies from the sky to the earth. And she's holding the chain so he, she can control Satan. Oh, you know, with the, the serpent. That will be the devil. She's holding him so he doesn't escape to win the world. Give it to you, please don't squeeze it. Don't squeeze it. You just take it, you put it in your mouth, and you leave it dissolved. You don't chew it. Okay. okay. You wait until both of you have it, you do it at the same time. Right. You put your hands like this. You understand? Yeah. yeah. 
Gracias. Gracias. This candy we call it mistela. It's a candy traditional from the city of Quito. It's very awesome. It's going to pop out in your mouth. You take your time, no pressure. This candy, the candela is a cocktail that has a cane sugar alcohol, cinnamon, and it has, you cannot see it, but there is a fruit that is called naranjilla. Okay, and normally we drink it hot. It's a cocktail from Quito. But the one we just tried pops in your mouth and it has alcohol in it, like a double rum. Dream. Oh. This candy, Thank you. you can eat it, you can chew it normally. We call it corn covered by raw sugar. This sugar is called panela. It's not the brown sugar. It's a sugar that is less processed, has less calories, very common here in Ecuador. You went to Colombia, right? You tried the agua panela. Well, the panela is a sugar. Very <laughs> cold. Um, this candy is called dog shit because it looks like dog shit, but it tastes not like dog shit. It's really good. <laughs> this one is called bocadillo lojano. It's a long name. It doesn't have translation. Bocadillo lojano. Bocadillo lojano. lojano. This one is peanut butter with peanuts, the nuts, and sugar. Mm, that's so good. That was like a that was like a peanut butter fudge. That is so good. So you like it? Yeah. Okay. Let's try some ice cream. This guy's the owner and makes. Which ice cream would be one dollar ninety-five cents? Wow. Yeah, hyperinflation. That's what we changed to the dollar. This is old. In this part, they do tastings of alcohol. We just tried the ice cream. This naranjia, which we don't have in England. It looks like a tomato. It tastes amazing. Decided to get a whole scoop. So our guy just told us that Ecuador was given the name Ecuador because of where it is on the equator. And before that, it was like part of a big country with Colombia and Venezuela. So there you go. This is just a stunning church. Very busy at the moment. There's been some kind of event here, maybe first communion. A wedding or a confirmation, but it's absolutely cool. So, do you see the pillars that are with a spiral? Have you ever seen those pillars before? No? Okay. We call them Salomonic pillars. They come from the temple of the King Solomon from Israel. Oh, yeah, King Solomon. This temple was called the pillars with a spiral. In the Baroque style, adopted the style. This angel here has something extra special between its legs and that was revenge because if they wanted to offend this church you didn't pay the indigenous people they didn't pay the indigenous people properly so they, they would call this a nasty angel and they did it as revenge for them not paying three flags ecuador quito and then the province that ecuador's in and there's a really cute dog down there it's a very cute dog and Mike's just asked the most ridiculous tour guide question about inflation so he's in our bad books now this is the biggest church in Quito it's seven hectares and through here where well, we're gonna go back another day after Galapagos is the oldest brewery in Latin America South America no, Latin America, Latin America. Latin America. <laughs> um, and it's run by monks, so obviously we're going to go there and get some beer. And um, we're about to go in. Here's Mike and our amazing tour guide, just walking in. Just found out that Panama hats, um, which we thought were from, from, from Panama, aren't actually from Panama, they're from Ecuador. So. There you go, we've been lied to by Panama all this time. We're gonna guess the chocolate flavour. Oh, it's got something in it. I think it tastes like ginger. Are you sure? 
Is it not the right answer? <laughs> found out that the first ever cocoa bean was from Ecuador. Finished our walking tour which was amazing, literally the best one we've done. And now we're at a microbrewery, about to have some beer. So I've gone for a flight of beers, I've got a coconut and ginger IPA, a red evil amber, their like session IPA and then a citrus IPA and Mike's gone for... I've gone for a um, coffee and Cappuccino, cappuccino sweet stout and then I'm also going to try all of us. So we just got back from such a good day. Oh my god, my... Oh, I've got the biggest bags. But here's the realities of backpacking. We've made such a... Sorry, my batch came up. We've got. We've made such bad decisions today. We just wanted to stay in tonight. So we've got sardines in a tin which Mike is refusing to eat. He's a fish eater. The whole, the whole fish not small enough in England. Okay, he's unhappy with the fact of the big fish. Whale with bones and everything. Not got bones. Ritz crackers and a <laughs> can of sweet corn. What turn, turns out, most restaurants here do a full meal for the same price as what we just bloody spent. I know, we were just trying to like save money and it's stupid decisions were made. So there you go, the realities of backpacking. Keto. Ready for Cotopaxi. And we are in just the nicest hostel. I'll show you the view from our room. We've looked out, especially after a few disasters in the back of this. I just stopped on the way to Cotopaxi, I think, to get some care. I think this is uh, the guy's help. But the puppy's still there. We are on our way for the Cotopaxi trek. We're with our guide. Juan and we just stopped at his to get our equipment and have a lovely lunch now just while he gets all the last bits of equipment we're just chilling with the horse and the view and the sun and then we're off to the refuge yeah. for an early night yeah. for I think we couldn't work out what the sound from the baboon was coming from. So they're on the phone to people. Well, Guys, little look to see what we can see. But it's gorgeous. There was, there was like four in the last ten minutes. I've just arrived at the control area, so you have to have a permit to climb Cotopaxi, and there it is in the background. It's a bit of a, quite a bit of a cloud on it, isn't it? Wasn't it? Hopefully that's going to clear up, but you never know. We'll it's see. It looks a lot bigger now. Mm. 5,800 metres? Something Around 5,800 metres, so Four, six. higher than we've been before. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be a long day, long night. Here we are, all dressed up. Snow boots on. Ready to go, we're going to drive about half an hour I think. Um, and then about an hour walk to refuge from there. Uh, it feels, it looks big. The shoes feel so weird, they're like if anyone's ever walked in like ski or snow boarding boots, they're so rigid. You have to be rigid up just for the crampons. Yeah. Yeah, it's weird. At least Tev's got a fashion sunglasses here with little uh, beads. <laughs> so people know I'm not a boy <laughs> when I've got no makeup on. <laughs> when I've got no makeup on and a hat, I could definitely be mistaken for a sunglasses. <laughs> I'll respond for the refuge. No, 
happen to me. going now to the refuge and then there's the summit at the top. This is wild. There we go. First up the refuge and the summit. Back up to the refuge. The refuge. And there. This is past so we're gonna go up to tomorrow. Lovely. Lovely jumbly. We've arrived at the refuge, 4,864 metres. So we're going to stay here tonight, go to sleep super early because tomorrow we're defeating that bad boy. You can see a bit of the path as well. The, the route even up here was difficult because it's like volcanic ash and yeah. stone, it's like walking on sand. Look at that that we've already done. It's literally one step forward, two steps back. But it is beautiful. Yeah, it's really clear. You can see the summit on the good back view. So we'll be setting off about 11 pm, yeah. walking all through the night with our head torches. Get across some uh, glaciers. Get uh, the crampons on. Yeah, woohoo! It's difficult is we've got special walking boots, which you can attach crampons to, but it's literally like walking in ice boots. Yeah, so stiff. In the refuge, we've all picked our bunks, and now we're de shoeing and we're going to go eat, I think. In this refuge, you get some Crocs you can take off your shoes. Only one of mine has sports mode initiated. Unfortunately, sports mode's been disabled on that side. Okay, Ethan, do you know the full game? It's not a bad beer. So, this <coughs> refuge also has a bouldering wall, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, I don't know what that is. Uh, flags everywhere. There's a Manchester United flag here, which is just horrid. I should have bought an Ottoman Forest one. Uh, some really nice flags. I'm trying to guess what they are. It's a lovely dinner. Look at that. Look. That's true. I lived in them. Six o'clock and we are going to bed. Try and get as much sleep as possible before 11 p.m. when we wake up. Look at that beautiful sunset. And all these flags really remind me of the Himalayas to Everest Base Camp. Really cool. Look at that sunset. Hey, look at that sea. Look at the moon. Midnight, and we're getting ready to set off with all our gear. 
And it's pretty now outside. I feel rough. I feel sick. I've got a pounded head. Mike, the altitude's hit Mike. We're just going to take it easy and see how we get on. Let's go. Rats are. Harness is on. Helmet's on. Where does it go? Blue piece side. Huh. Better talk more. Uh, about a quarter past midnight. I'm really feeling the altitude. I feel sick. Pounding head. Head seems to be doing all right. taking a break you can see Keto there in the background Stubborn and crampons, it's a vertical ascent. It's tasty. Guys, this wasn't the update we were hoping for. Sadly, we did not summit a Cotopaxi today. Um, which we're a bit gutted about, but also I think actually the strongest decision was the decision to turn around. And it was the best decision we made. I was really struggling. We're in these boots and with the crampons, we were literally going up like this. 60, 70 degree and my ankles were just taking a beating because these obviously aren't like perfect fit and I was just worried because if I got injured I'd have been screwed. There were crevasses that you couldn't see the bottom of. A huge crevasses you couldn't see the bottom of. It was super slippy today for some reason. I don't know if it's sort of melted and then refroze. It was really slippy. Um, I got hit with large altitude sickness. I still feel horrific now. Mike, Mike's never struggled with altitude sickness and stay. But this is the thing with altitude sickness. It's so random. Today he's just been hit, and he's on Diamox, but it's just hitting. He's been not well, so we're actually not going to stay here. We're going to carry on down just to get Mike lower. But yeah, I would say we're good, but I actually think it was the best decision we made because. It's nice to get a taste of technical like, glacial climbing. At the minute, I'm thinking it's not for me. Going going down, we will so all. All of us were falling. Me, Mike, and the guys and all fell at one point. Falling and you're like slipping down the slope, and you've dropped your pick. There's just crevasses in. Yeah, you're literally it's falling down into like a never-ending crevasse. It's wild. That's the craziest thing. I've it done. was really. We've just. Uh, it was the best decision to turn around. Yeah. I, I don't. I, I usually I feel like too proud and like regret it and think, oh, you know, don't know. Not, not that. No. At all. Not that little bit. No, you don't mess with altitude sickness. You don't mess with if you're worried you're going to snap was, your that ankle. Was, that was beyond our skill level. Like, yeah. That was a really hard. Time, we're just not up to that level yet. And that's okay. And we gave it a good go, but at the end of the day, we no chose. No point risking life. For, we and chose. It would have felt like that was the case if we weren't, we're not that skilled. For We're not being dramatic, it genuinely was like it, life and we'll death. Video for we'll, we'll this, like we were see. literally scaling like huge ice box size of houses. 
So yeah. It's nice it's... to give it a go. Um, at the minute, not for me. I'm not as aware about my ability. But it's a good adventure. It was a great adventure. I'm glad we've done it up to the point. We've I think it. if it was snow and not a glacier, like not an ice glacier. I don't even know. Anyway. Yeah, we're a little bit good, but actually, at the end of the day, I'm I think everyone would rather we chose to come down. I'm honestly not good at all. Yeah. But I had a great time, but we've been dangerously stupid to carry on. Life's the most important thing. So yeah, we're going to go further down, go back to Quito just to get Mike further down. Because um, that's the only thing you can do with altitude sickness. We need to get our bags, don't forget. From the guy's house. Okay, so we're Good morning slash afternoon everyone. Today is not a good day. We're both really not feeling well. Yeah, the altitude is just, because we went at such a severe altitude so fast, it's really messing with our stomachs. Headaches too. Yeah, we're just feeling really run down. Our bo bodies are battered. I'm like covered in bruises just from falling on the glacier. And then like, obviously like when you fall, you just kind of like get your ice hack in, which means you're just slamming your arm against ice. Anyway, we just went for a lovely breakfast at Dulcita Colonial yeah. in the main square. Absolutely. The woman that runs it or works or whatever, she's unreal. So, so nice. Lovely. I feel like it's what we needed. It was like a little mum hug. Um, we were going to go see the equator line, but we've got a seven hour, two flights over seven hours tonight, which is already going to be bad enough. So an hour in the taxi. Two hours in the taxi. Yeah, like two hours over on a taxi was just not the one. So we're going to go to the church we were at the other day up there. You can go to the top. Then we're going to go visit the oldest brewery in Latin America. And in a shocking event for me and Mike, we're probably not even going to drink. We're just going to go look. So the idea of alcohol <laughs> is making you physically sick. Yeah, that's how you know you're ill. Anyway, it's our last day in Ecuador. We're going uh, to Bolivia tonight. What a great note. Forest beat Liverpool 1-0 away. There you go. So there we go, we got lucky there, we were not, reds. everything else is pretty unlucky. So yeah, off we go. each and you walk between the two sides. What if I jump on the stairs? <laughs> the back outside the basilica now. Just looking at some of the other gargoyles. It's one of the only places in the world where the gargoyles are actual animals rather than like fake animals or like ugly people. Ah, oh, Tortuga! Oh, okay. We've got turtles and um, iguanas. So we think all of this is, um, this one doesn't have any on at the moment, but they're all being decorated. You can see them being decorated down there in some of the videos for a special festival. And that's going on at the Basilica. It's like um, 
uh, oh my god, the altitude in my brain. Um, what's called Conference to, uh, Conference of Eucharist 2024. Um, wow, look at this one. That's all like little bits of sand and stuff that's been coloured. Viva Jesus, and I can't read that upside down. So we think it might be like a competition, maybe. But it's like different companies doing it, and they're absolutely incredible. Some are with flowers, and they smell amazing. Some are with these like bits of sand, that they're, like creating amazing. Here because on our tour, she said it's completely gold on the inside. So let's go have a look. Max is going to go navigate our way in. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to take pictures of film. Um, we'll see. Check this out. So, we're allowed to take photos and videos, just no flash. It is just stunning. Oh my god. Look at this detail. made a 23 carat gold leaf. Wow. souvenir for keto but we're low on bag space so we decided to get so the key ecuador now uses the dollar but they used to use the ecuadorian sucre so this we got we have a frame of like loads of different money from around the world and we're gonna add this so a thousand sucre and that one mil sucre and that is our Ecuadorian journey over because we're about to head to the airport to go back to Bolivia because we've got unfinished business in Bolivia. Ciao!